people, 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 people. Ke pa sa sa pa se what they do. Now people, me tell you already and I am going to tell you once again, one more again. You can't trust politician, you can't trust preacher, you can't trust popo and people. Add to this list, you can't trust the JDF soldier. Because based on breaking information, it was said that two JDF soldiers, they were caught with in excess of 3,000 pounds of weed. We are talking about the Bob Marley, we are talking about the sticky tick ickety. And people, I am going to let you listen to this beautiful bean footage and then I am going to give my peace. Morning brothers, breaking news on Nationwide just a while ago. Two JDF corporal in custody, St. Elizabeth Police, caught with over 3,000 pounds of ganja last night at Kutas. After I with the police, police stopped the vehicle and get information that the JDF vehicle pick up ganja. So police stopped them at Kutas and then they were stopped by shoot out Service vehicle got damaged after the shootout. Two corporals, three, over 3,000 pounds of ganja in the vehicle. Now people, you know so the Prime Minister and the Minister of Security and everybody involved in our security, they need to knight me, they need to make me a special person and put me upon the payroll because people, anything when I talk are the gospel. Now people, if you remember there was an incident that took place in a Clarendon, I think maybe less than a month ago, and I said that a soldier, a private, he was conned up, he went on a mission for some sort of drug interdiction, some sort of drugs bust, and he got killed and them claims that the smuggler them basically take him out. However, people, I did a video and I said that this might be from friendly fire. Don't be surprised. And people, you understand that whenever anybody on social media make any sorts of disclaimer or make any sorts of claims or allegation that is false, you always hear the Pope, the security minister, the prime minister, Rete Lele, come out and say, listen, stop spread rumors and propaganda. People, you did not hear anybody say any such thing. So people, may just I'll show you how the link of link is real. It is not fraudulent like some of these bloggers. So anyways, people, back to the story at hand. And people, in that incident, we saw that none of the men, none of the smugglers were caught. We are speaking about on that mission in a Clarendon. And people, fast forward to yesterday. And we see said two JDF soldiers get catch again with in excess of 3,000 pounds of the green stuff. And people, when they were signaled by the poor poor for stop, some sort of S-H-O-O-T out and sold. And people like them say, them catch them upon the spot. Now people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. There are a lot of good JDF soldiers and popo we are speaking about in the minority. However, a lot of these soldiers and popo, they are criminal and people. I am not sure if it is because of the minimal wage and people that is not no justification because your job is your job and that is what you signed up for. However, we see that the popo get some JDF soldier. And people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I don't know if this is a case where the kettle is calling the pot black or thief, not like the thief with long bag. But people, the fact that they intercepted them and they busted them, that means that these are some good po po point blank and peer. So, anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now people, we sister Jamaica hot like volcano lava and people we are speaking specifically about Spanish Town because we saw that on Monday one person lost his life, he got basically multiple con and based on the information it is that he is an aspiring comedian, aspiring actor, aspiring dancehall artist. So people, I am not sure about that person's file. However, people, a next person lost his life yesterday. And that person's file is a little more shaky. It is a little more shady. And people, like we saw, whenever he lost his life, persons were trying to save him. Persons were saying that a mati son, a this person's son, rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. Now, people, like I've always said in all of my videos, and most of the videos that I do, 
whenever you see anything happen, wherever there is smoke, there is always some sort of fire. So people, what we did, we dug up a few files or some of my link. Link me and say, listen, some of these people that you see creating chaos and catastrophe in the era and when people take them out, people are sorry for them. You're not for sorry for them. So people, I am going to let you listen to a voice note of the actions of some of these persons that are creating all sorts of BS over Jamaica and people like me say, I always have the files, I have the evidence, I have the dockets, I have the picture, everything for much. So therefore, this is not a type of Anansi story where you hear some blogger come up with. We are speaking about a figment of their imagination. So people, take a listen, take a look at these voice notes and then I'll give my peace. Ah, ten shot, then give the woman in the bath, Mr. So then like shot her like two times first, and the woman run off, and run going to the bathroom, and she, she, she dead there. And um, fear house, you know, she, she did like from about, say, a good little distance from her house, like about, say, one mile or so from her house, but I walk, and I want a little village, ghetto down the west there. So I walk, you know, say, I walk, she go walk. So she run off going to the woman's house, in the bathroom where she did. And the boy then run go in the back of her. See, the, the owner of the house wake up, that a female wake up and it's like him and the boy then book up at the doorway and they say, him, she named Neta and like them say, Neta, Neta, where Ivan there? The girl with the name Ivan. See? And the boy then push her away. When Neta say no, no, then push her away and proceed and then go book up on Neta man with then call screw. See? And then stick up screw them come out of the way. And then go search and go find the woman the well. Then follow the blood that tore me here. Then follow the blood because then they shoot her from outside. So then follow the blood and go see her in the bathroom, brother. And then put must see eight more bullets in the woman, brother. Uh, because one little thief in boy in the area dead. And the woman I say a long time in if he did. Because the boy they must be broken shop already. You see me I say? Mm. So you saw Jamaica around me general not if the woman they not safe again. And if man fi start step on them cockroach a police are gonna come lock me up. You see badness? Yeah man. Now people when we look at the situation that is occurring in Jamaica, we say that the poor poor them need help. So sometimes they really shatter them in a some community take it up on them head because them here say some man some wannabe wanks as they are acting up so therefore them basically take the justice in them own hand them basically say them a thousand if you understand what i am speaking about now people in this case with sister this lady who was a shopkeeper them broke in her shop and one of the people that broke in her shop in basically get slap away so therefore she voiced her opinion and say a long time him for gone or him deserve it however the people them kind of get in them feelings she feel as if or they felt as if she had something to do with it or she should not have said what she said after the people them take advantage of her so people may just show you the mentality of these wannabe wanks as these new millennial that they are broken shop in a them own place. Them basically a SHIT where them live. And when the people them start talk up, them want to take what the people them. So people like them say, them do evil and the evil come back and haunt them. And people like you say, me have up the picture right there so. And when he got conned up, he was basically bleached out. However, this is an older picture of the thief or one of the thief them in a society where them catch. So people like them say, them get justice. And like my always say, karma always comes back to haunt you. Point blank and period. Now before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now people, like I have said before, there seems to be some sort of gang activity flare up in a Spanish town and people, when we talk about Spanish town, we know that Spanish town is in close proximity to a place called Sandy Bay. Now people, based on the information from the Popo, it says that there has been a lot of flare up as it pertains to slap away in Clarendon. Now people, the next person that lost his life, I am speaking about a 25 year old man. And his name is Kemai Gray and he is said to be a resident of Green Meadows. And when I speak about Green Meadows, I am speaking about Sandy Bay. 
And based on the information, it is said that at about 2 o'clock in the morning, early morning, some man roll up on the spot and people, the residents of them here, all sort of thing like a bag that we are speaking about, B-O-M-B-S. We are talking about all sorts around, tall up 9mm, 4 fifth rate, lele, blue, blah, bling. And people, it is said that after all the 4th of July fireworks, people, when the popo come upon the scene, them find this man body basically lay out in a all sort of cool head. You know exactly what I am speaking about. And it is said that he got at least 20 pieces, or there were at least 20 spent shell upon the scene. Now, people, when we think about what is going on in Jamaica and we are speaking about over K-I-L-L. -L. So therefore, you don't have to ask this question. If this man was an innocent bystander, if this man was an innocent victim and people, I am not saying that he is not an innocent victim because I don't know the underlying story. However, this proves the fact that there were 20 spent shells at least. That is what they found. That means that this was a direct hit. That means that they came for him and people like me say, Spanish Town hot, Clarendon hot, and there has always been a link as it pertains to Clarendon and Spanish Town. People are always going back and forth. We are talking about the thief, we are talking about the criminal, we are talking about the shatter. Them run from one place when it get hot and run to the next place. So the people, the point that I am trying to make is that both places are hot right now and a lot of persons are losing their life. Point blank and period. Now people, when we analyze what is going on in Jamaica, we have to ask the question, are these persons losing their mind? Is there some sort of curse taking over Jamaica? Because people, this is a clear case of when planting one D-E-A-D, it S-H-O-O-T. So it seems as if these persons are on some sort of S-U-I-C-I-D-A-L mission. That means that they are praying to get taken out. They are doing things that whenever the odds are going to fall against them and people, in the case we see, a lot of them are getting taken out. A lot of these youth, because when we look at the average age of these youth that are committing the most atrocity in a Jamaica we see that they are in their teens they are 20 little bit 22 23 if them pass 25 them all and people it seems as if they don't learn so people the point that I am trying to make is that it seems as if they don't learn from the mistakes of others it seems as if they don't read the notice board it seems as if nobody send them the memo that their life is in jeopardy and the way that they are living their shelf life is basically short so people soon or later all of them are going to be gone but people like them say as one dead and next one rise and people that is a problem we are speaking about one fool makes many and everybody wants to try all sort of stupidity and people will say that it is a revolving door it is a cycle of madness point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up